Workers demanding severance pay after a sudden firing, a protest ending with a call to police. I'm Don Guevara. And I'm Farron Franzek. Our crew was covering the protest at Bruce Foods out northeast El Paso when things turned ugly. News Channel 9's Chorus Islander joins us live in the studio. Chorus, things even got physical for you guys. Yes, and not from a protest. Our photographer and I were there with about a dozen people who blocked entry to Bruce Foods. They weren't happy with their sudden firing, and a man who still worked there sure wasn't happy with us tonight. Get the camera out of my face, all right? Tensions high. An independent contractor trying to get inside Bruce Foods, blocked by protesters. He was angry with them. Just to do my job. Why would you just assault the photographer? I didn't assault your photographer. Just I touched the camera. camera. I've got it on video. I touched the I've camera. I've got it on video. Luckily, our photographer was not injured and our equipment not damaged. But the police were called. More protect. Good, we'll show them the video. Protester Clavo Martinez, a witness, says the man who's angry is Mark and works on forklifts at the factory. If he would have asked peacefully, the people know who this gentleman is and he, he would have been allowed to go in. But he immediately started getting abrupt with us, so everybody blocked him. The reason for the protest? Bruce Foods recently bought out by Teasdale Foods of California, leaving 150 senior employees to lose their jobs without severance pay. These hateful corporations are using mergers and takeovers to displace people. The protesters say the company did not give these employees a chance to reapply for new positions and are demanding some form of compensation for their years of service. We want the company to listen to these workers, to listen to their demands. But certainly not everyone was happy to listen. Now, we reached out to Teasdale Foods a few hours ago for comment on the layoffs. They did not respond. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Course Nylander, News Channel 9. All right, Course, thank you. Dramatic.